when you talk about dilr prep don't look for portion don't look for theory there is none lr you can still look for question types as portion for example lr mein arrangement question type hai. unlike a chapter like averages i can teach you average theory for 2 hours i can't teach you theory in arrangements for more than 5 minutes because these are all experientially learned topics they are learned experientially so while a couple of topics like games and tournaments might have some theory or the venn diagram might have some theory otherwise mostly lr mein bhi theory nahi hoga aur di mein bhi theory nahi hoga so your preparation cannot be uh, theory dependent some teachers or some training systems take it bar chart pie chart kind of thing for di but again how long can you stick to bar chart as a chapter to study di is evident from the fact that if i have a bar chart based question and in the next page i write the same data in a table which can be done a bar chart data can be put in a table so does that question now become a table question so what are you learning when you break it into a chapter what do you do when you are studying time speed distance the processes required to solve a time speed distance question is different from when you are studying averages or for that matter when you are studying number systems the processes required to solve a number system question is different the theory required is different to yahan pe agar tum is tarah se break karte ho ki mere ko bar chart ek chapter hai aur table ek chapter hai to bar chart ka data main table mein dal do to wahi question tum yahan solve kar rahe ho i keep the same same questions which is the highest year and which is the highest percentage change between years etc i can ask you the same question on the table so are you process wise different no so if you're not process wise different why should you break it into those chapters it makes absolutely no sense yeah when you start di maybe one week you can spend on bar charts to understand what bar charts are and to make sure that you can read them but apart from that at the graduate level you really don't need much time to understand how to read bar charts and pie charts mm-hmm.